Minimalist type only logos can be an elegant, effective solution for many brands. But one of the challenges we face as designers is ensuring that the logo, while simple, is unique. So how can you effectively customize a type only logo without adding unnecessary elements or spoiling the simplicity and the balance? Well, a method I've used many times now and I've actually fallen in love with is adding ligatures and swashes to serif typefaces. So it means you get to stand on the shoulders of some incredibly well-balanced serifs but bespoke them in a way that actually enhances the overall aesthetic. It's fast and once you know what you're doing, it's actually quite an easy trick to employ. But as always, there are a few tricks to getting this just right. So stay tuned and I'll show you exactly how to do that in this class. Hi, my name is Jason Miller. I'm a freelance graphic designer from London. Although I'm London based, I've had the privilege of working with clients from Hong Kong to New York to Australia even. I've been freelancing for over 12 years now, and the last six years, this has been my sole source of income. So there are some great little hacks that make all the difference to pulling this effect off without pulling your hair out in the process. So although this will be an abbreviated version of a full design process, I'll share these tips with you as we run through some example projects from start to finish. So these tips are going to include best practice on pairing and balancing very different font elements. And understanding how to combine these in a way that follows the original form and feels natural. And of course, lots of time-saving hacks. So to enjoy the full version of this class, you just need to head across to Skillshare. Uh, there's a link in the description that will give you free access to the class for at least 14 days. So you can head over there, uh, sign up, and it won't cost you anything.